Today I want to do a video of how I use AI to help me write ad copy. And I don't generally use AI tools to write all of my ad copy for me, but right now I have Bard open, I have ChatGPT open, I have Claude open, and I also have a tool open, Jounce.ai, which offers some, some free, you can use their chat for free, there are some limitations with Jounce. There's limitations with all of these tools, and I've had issues with Claude even working for me recently, just because I think Claude is being used by so many people that I think they want to switch to more of a a premium tool which they probably should I mean it's such a good tool to use but Bard and ChatGPT are generally always going to work for you and I'm using ChatGPT 3.5 I'm not even using the 4.0 version so what I'm going to be showing you today is how I use these tools to help assist me writing ad copy and I'm going to have one simple prompt that I'm using. I'll give you the prompt. And this can be really helpful, especially if you're working with new clients or even if you're working with your own brand, just to be able to say, okay, how do I pull out some of the main features of this brand that I'm working with? How can I make sure that I am telling their story through their ad copy? So the examples I'm going to be using today are onrunning.com. I'm going to be using a broad, just broad ad copy for onrunning.com. So I have their about page open. And then I also have a product page open here. So this is just a random product. I found a headband. So it's an insulated sweat wicking headband that's for running. So something I know nothing about and how I would come up with ad copy for this type of product. And you can use this if you're working with e-commerce clients, you could use this for any e-commerce clients. This is very helpful if you're running Facebook ads, if you're running Performance Max campaigns, because you have to write a lot of ad copy, especially with Performance Max campaigns. So there are a ton of different fields to fill out. Um, I'm not going to go over actually taking my ad copy and opening it up into Google ads, but basically how I get some of these different tools to write me a ton of ad copy and how I can go through it and basically make my life a little bit easier as I'm creating either responsive search ads, performance max campaigns, Facebook ads campaigns, whatever ad copy that I am currently writing. I use these tools pretty often, especially as I get started with a new client. The other example I'm going to be using is aweber.com and we'll be doing a couple examples from aweber. And then last but not least, we'll use a local company so bridgewater overhead doors so it's doorsnj.com they offer garage door repair services garage door installation all sorts of different things like that so let's start with onrunning.com and we're just going to use their about page and generally what i'll do is i'll go through the about page and copy all of their text now i've already done this i put this in a notepad file and i have my prompt right here so my prompt that i'm going to be using for all four of these tools is i want you to read all the information below so you can understand my brand and my unique selling points. You're an expert copywriter who is fluent in English. You know how to write ad copy that can help me sell my products and services. You write with natural language, language that will drive conversions for my business. Please write 10 different ad copy variations based on my brand below. Write two ad headlines. And now there's two different things you can try. So the character count is not always perfect. And some of these use tokens where with ChatGPT, they say if you say 100 tokens, that means 75 words. So if you say, write me ad description lines that are 100 tokens or less. Now, it's not perfect, and I have had trouble getting the exact how many characters in each of, you know, if I'm trying to get ad copy written. So generally what I'll do, and I'll show you this, is I'll continue to reprompt some of these services to continue to get more and more ad copy. But we're saying two headlines that are 25 characters or less two ad headlines that are 50 characters or less, two that are 75 characters or less, including spaces, two ad description lines that are 100 characters or less, including spaces, and two that are 150. You can do longer, you can do shorter, whatever you need for the ad copy that you're writing. I like to use different lengths of ad copy, and generally I use pretty short ad copy because I, I think most people are looking for something quick to the point and give someone a quick and effective, here is exactly why you should purchase whatever our products or services are. So let's start here with our prompt. So we're going to take our prompt, we're going to copy it, we're going to put it into Bard. Um, I've been using Bard more recently. Bard is actually a pretty good tool from what I've seen. Uh, Chat GPT, we are going to come down here to Claude. And we are going to use Jounce. I don't use Jounce as often. Now one of the issues... Oh, click this one here already. One of the issues that we have at times or, or that I have at times is some of these have limitations for how much information you can enter. So if you run into an issue where you copy all of this information, I have my brand on running and then I copied all the information from their about page. So this is definitely something I do for the most part with clients that I'm working with. And we're going to take all of this information until we get all the way to the bottom of the headband. So the headband we're going to be doing separately. So let's come over here and we are going to copy and paste all of this information underneath our prompt. So now what I can do is just kind of 
take all of this and do the same exact prompt into all of these. Not sure if Claude is going to work for me, but we'll see. We have pasted content here, 60 total lines of content. We'll do the same thing for Jounce. And then we will do the same thing. Did I do chat GPT yet? Yes, I did Bard. Okay, now we have Bard here as well. So now we have all four of these, Bard, Chat, GPT, Claude, and Jounce. So I'm going to click on Enter for all of these, and we're going to see what we come up with. Okay, so we have Bard. We have Chat, GPT. Let's see if Claude works for us. Okay, it looks like Claude is working again. And we have Jounce. I actually like Claude the best. I think Claude is the best natural writer as far as a free tool. So Jounce is already starting. So 25 characters or less, run on clouds, dream on, run on. Um, we have add headlines, 50 characters or less, experience the revolution, running shoes, on running, engineered for excellence. So these are two good headlines, honestly. Um, 75 characters or less, we reinvent running shoes for a more sustainable future. Now, what you can do after this is say, can you generate me 10 more ad copy variations? And we'll just say that. And they're just going to use all the information and do the same exact thing over and over again. So if you need more of these, just ask for more. If you're looking for more headlines, then ask for more headlines. If you're looking for more long description lines, ask for more long description lines. They actually do a really good job of staying within the limits that we gave them. And then you could also ask for much longer description lines as well. So we come over here to Claude, headlines, 25 characters or less, feel the clouds beneath your feet, run lighter, dream bigger. Innovation means inspiration for every stride. So now we have a ton of ad copy here. And again, with Claude, you can do the same exact thing. Can you generate me 10 more? So we'll just do that right now. Me 10 more ad copy variations. And you can ask for specific information. You could also say, can you generate me ad copy variations and incorporate my promotion of 10% off for new customers, which is only probably going to be able to use for some of these longer versions, but it's going to be difficult to put 10% off for new customers in a headline, but you probably can fit that anyway. Um, so 10% off your first clouds, run lighter for less, 10% off first time cloud tech runners, save 10% on your peak performance ride. So they give us some good ones here as well. We have chat GPT. Um, they, they're putting some uh, exclamation points in here, which generally we don't have too much exclamation. Um, I guess for Facebook we can. Okay, so then we have the same exact thing here for Bard as well. So now we get a ton of ad copy, and you can see how simple this is. So using a simple prompt that we just came up with, so or, or a simple prompt that I've been using, and then coming up with all this information that we pulled directly from our clients' websites, we can come up with all sorts of ad copy. So let's do the same thing for the Loomis headband. So we're going to take this here, we're going to come down, and now we're just going to take the information about the Loomis headband, and we're going to do the same exact thing. So we scroll down until we get to our Aweber part and we will copy and paste this here. You can see how quickly this actually works. So writing ad copy can be a very tedious process. So now we're going to do this in Bard. We are going to do this in ChatGPT. We are going to do this in Claude and we are going to do this in Jounce. Um, so all four of these tools. And then basically what you can do is either use a Word document, use a notepad, use Excel file, whatever it may be, and you can take all of this ad copy and keep all of it in those these different files, and then you're able to use some of this ad copy within your campaign. So we get we get more ad copy here from all four of these different channels, and we're doing all of this for free. So none of these are paid tools. We may run into some limitations with some of the tools, but Bard is free. ChatGPT 3.5 is still free. Um, Claude still offers their free version. They have some limitations, and Jounce as well, which has some limitations. So now we have the Loomis headband. You can see some of these headlines. Now, these are a little bit longer, but if you just use this portion of it, run visible, run safe, your warmth, your safety. So you can see they take out the selling points that on running actually has on their website. So they're able to say, okay, on running for this specific product is trying to promote. This is a great way for people to not only stay warm, but also to run safe because it is a reflective headband. So you're kind of using your two selling points. And that's why we use, use the selling points within our prompt so that we can actually sell people on our products our services, whatever they may be. Now let's use Aweber as our next example here. Let's get some ad copy for Aweber. So we're going to come over here. My brand is Aweber. We'll come to the top and get our prompt first. Okay. So we grab our prompt again. We're going to come over here to Bard and we are going to put our prompt here. 
you can see I do this a decent amount because generally what I'm trying to do is get this done as quickly as possible because you don't want to spend all day writing ad copy. It can be a tedious process. And generally what I'll do is I'll write my own ad copy and then I will also use, actually want to use, instead of using the, the email marketing for Aweber, we're going to say get more leads with these different landing pages. So let's come over here. We will come back to Bard. I'll say, I like to use my brand so they know what the brand actually is, aweber.com. You can put more information about your brand as well. But with this, we can take, they're trying to promote some a landing page service. And let's just say they want to start driving more people to aweber.com to actually get landing pages. So landing pages for success. Grow your business with Aweber. Create beautiful landing pages in minutes. Reach more customers. All-in-one solution for creating high converting landing pages. So we can do the same thing in chat GPT. We could do the same thing in Claude. I think you get the drift and we could do the same thing in Jounce. And then what I like to do is just take all of this ad copy and then take some of the shorter versions and some of the longer versions. And again, don't be afraid to reprompt. So come right over here to uh, Bard and say, can you write me 10 more 150 character description lines? Can you write me 10 more ad headlines that are 50 characters or less? So if you need more ad copy, then just continue adding prompts because they have the information. And if you say things like sometimes what I'll do is say, can you focus on selling the landing page platform on aweber.com and write me five additional ad headlines that are 50 characters or less. Okay, so you could do something just like that. And then we're going to get five new pieces of ad copy that are going to be really geared towards landing pages. And they have some emojis here. You obviously don't need to use emojis. But Aweber landing pages blast off your conversions. Capture leads and sales with Aweber landing pages. I like that. Design high converting landing pages in minutes. Very good. That one. Reach your target audience with Aweber landing pages. Grow your business with Aweber landing pages. You could say, can you give me five more? And they'll give you five more. So you can continuously do this. Now, this also works for a local business. So I, I'm, we're going to use doorsnj.com. And what I like to do here is I will use any about page that they have, any about information. They have an FAQ section. So I took that information. The other thing that I'll do is if you Google a company like this, so if you're working with a local company, you're trying to figure out more information about all the different services they offer and you want to be able to um, promote all those services, then come down here to their Google business profile and look at their actual description from their business profile. Sometimes if you have a really good review, you could actually use the reviews as well because family owned friendly service and reliable, beautiful work. This is a great selling point to anybody. So go into the reviews as well and try to find some of the longer the more helpful reviews, especially the positive reviews, obviously go to their Facebook page, any at Yelp listing, if they have an Angie listing, if anything that they have here. And what we want to do is we want to take all the information we can get about their services, their selling points. And then we take all that information again in our notepad file. We will come right back up here to the top, use our same exact prompt. You could adjust this prompt if you want. So I'll give you the prompt. I'll put it in the uh, video description so you can easily copy it and just paste it yourself. But if we take this prompt right here, you can adjust it and, and do anything you want with it. So if you want to have it more focused on the exact brand that you're working with, just say, I want you to really drive home the selling point of this. And I want you to make sure that people who are trying to grow their business know that they can use this tool to grow their business. I want you to make sure that people that are getting their need a garage door replacement know that they can use this brand and they have this many years of service and five-star reviews, et cetera, et cetera. So you really want to adjust this prompt as you need to. So we'll take this prompt again. And obviously I just showed you some of the different examples. So I do 10 different ad copy variations. You may just say, you know what? I need five different ad copy variations. I need them all to be less than 150 characters or 150 characters or less, including spaces. You can also try to do ranges. So you can say, can you give me some ad copy that's between 100 and 150 characters? This can also be used if you're creating a landing page and you need copy for your landing page. So say, here's all the information. Can you write me ad co or write me copy for my landing page? and write uh, a paragraph about this, a paragraph about this. Um, so all of these things can be very helpful as you need to generate more and more content. Now let's come down here to the bottom and we'll copy some of our information from the our local business. Okay, so with over 65 plus years experience, so we're gonna take all this information here and we'll just use Bard and ChatGPT for this final one here. Uh, so I, I took all the information that we have and we will copy this here. We will come right back over here to Bard and we're gonna paste this again. 
And now we're going to get some ad copy for this specific one with our uh, garage door. So we'll just use Bard for this final example. I think you get the drift. Put all this information in Claude, in ChatGPT, in Bard, in Jounce if you want to as well. So some of these, not the greatest. Bridgewater Family Integrity Doors. Trust Bridgewater Doors Done Right. Um, yeah, they really focused on Bridgewater, Bridgewater, which is the town. Um, so what I can do is say, can you rewrite this ad copy and don't use the word Bridgewater? Please focus on the brand name. Brand name may be Bridgewater Overhead Doors. So it's a little bit long. So let's focus on the brand name um, Garage Door Repairs or something like that. Let's Or just focus on selling garage door repairs. So we'll say, please focus on selling garage door repairs, new garage doors, and garage door installation. I'm sure they do more than that. Um, so we have these three different things, and now we're going to get some additional ad copy. Don't use the word Bridgewater. Obviously, we can include Bridgewater if we need to. Garage door experts, repairs, installation, new doors. Trusted garage door services, no hassle, no upsells. Repairs, installation, new doors, your one-stop garage door solution. So sometimes what I like is this exceptional garage door solutions, your one-stop garage door solution. These could all be headlines in Google ads. If you're running, if you're writing responsive search ads, if you need to write description lines, then you can start taking some of these longer descriptions. Garage door issues, we've got you covered. Repairs, installations, new doors. Contact us today. So you're able to easily take this these this ad copy using AI tools, and it just really helps to kind of quickly go through all the information on a website. So if you're trying to write things for something like onrunning.com, you can see all of the missions that they have, the main things that they're focused on, how they're focused on sustainability, how they're focused on safety, how they're focused on creating the best possible shoes, and how you're selling more of a lifestyle. You're selling more of, you know, go out and run and go do these things. And we can focus on not, you know, spending 10 hours on writing the best possible ad copy because we're going to be testing different ad copy anyway. Nobody knows what's going to convert. So use AI tools to see what actually, what ad copy actually converts and then write ad copy yourself as well. So put together your ad copy with the AI tool ad copy. You see how well a lot of these things are written. Aweber's easy drag and drop landing page. Page Builder helps you quickly create high converting sign up forms, sales pages, and more to grow your business. Accelerate lead generation and sales with Aweber's customizable mobile responsive landing page templates. No coding needed. So, quick, effective descriptions, headlines using AI. If you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. I will put my prompt in the video description. You can adjust the prompt, rewrite the prompt, use your own prompt. Uh, but my prompt generally works pretty well coming up with ad copies. So, if you have any questions about any of this, please leave them in the comment section. Thanks for watching my video today, and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.